To connect the TR09 to your computer, you will have to install some drivers for it. The device is not standardly class compliant. Um, so the first thing we need to do is make sure there's no uh, USB cables to the TR09 connected to the computer, which there are not. And I've been onto the Roland website, and as you can see, I have downloaded the driver and unpacked it. So it's now here. This is a Mac. So in order to install this driver, I need to double click on the packet. And as you can see, it's asking me, do I want to trust this particular driver? Now I've downloaded this from the Roland website, so I do trust it. I hit continue and there's the standard Mac installation screen for uh, version 13 and version 14. So I am going to, at this point, go continue it's telling me it's going to take up just about mega space, that's fine. I'm going to say continue, and then it's asking me for a password. And it says that when this software finishes, it will reboot your computer. That is highlighted in the documentation, so I'm going to accept that. Quite often, the system's extensions preferences will be blocked. So, um, what we need to do at this point is wait for that to go and then click OK. So, that will allow the extensions to be unblocked. I'm now going to restart the computer. So I restart the computer by hitting the restart button, but I've got to stop the screen recording first. Now once you've done the reboot exercise, what you now need to do is go and authorize the software, um, on a Mac anyway. So you need to go into System Preferences, and this is the way I normally do that. And as you can see, here are the system preferences. And if you look down the bottom here, it says uh, software from developer Roland Corporation was blocked from loading. So effectively what's happening here is my Mac is blocking the software from actually loading into the system. Um, and what we need to do here is quite simply just tell the system to allow. It's going to give me a warning message, which I'll then go OK to. And then I can close this screen down. And that is the installation procedure for um, the TR-09. TR um, it's important that you do go through this procedure because if you don't, you can't do any firmware updates. It's as simple as that. And you won't be able to use the uh, audio outs from the TR-09 in things like Ableton, etc. There's another wrinkle here in that what you really need to do as well is um, make sure you go into that security piece, the last piece I showed you, and you have to do that within 30 minutes of installing the software. Otherwise, you're going to have to uninstall the drivers and then run through the whole process again. Otherwise, the drivers won't be loaded. This is a security feature of the Max running 10.14 and above. That is that. Following the restart, we now have to connect the unit to um, the computer and switch it on. So, USB cable, wrong way around, turn it around, and switch on. <laughs> 